Let's look at the process of creating a 3D transformation for the new Photoshop CS3 Extended with 3D Layer. First, create a selection rectangle around the head. Now open the File menu and select Pantomat Face Shop for 3D Filter. As the filter opens, you'll see your selection appear in a guide window that always shows the next step. In this screen, you'll need to pick points as shown to align the 3D head with your photo. Click on the middle of the forehead, the root of the nose, top of the nose, and so forth as prompted by the guide. If you don't see something, like the left ear here, simply right-click to skip it. When finished, click on the Next button. The second, final screen asks you to draw curves around the significant shapes, starting with eyebrows, followed by eyelids, mouth, and so forth. You will be asked to draw the contour of the left side of the face and repeat this on the 3D head. Then you'll do the same for the right side. Once you've finished, you'll notice three vertical lines flashing. These lines are optional to create unusual features, such as the middle line of the mouth in this example. Draw the mouth line on the photo and then on the 3D head. Once finished, click Next. Rendering is a two-stage process. First, Face Shop will change the shape of the 3D head. This is followed by application of the texture. Now you can see the 3D head with textures. Rotate it around. If you are satisfied with the 3D head, click on the Photoshop button. This will close the filter. Once back in Photoshop, click on the Control F3 to place the 3D head on the 3D layer. In order to interact with the 3D head, right click on the 3D layer and choose Transform 3D Model. Use any of the 3D tools on top to rotate, scale, and pan the 3D head. You can always go back and further rotate or scale the head.